back to Summit Craft. Oh, <laughs> um, today, uh, what we're doing is we are going to be carrying on with the station. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, and as you can see, the me and the Blackstone have built in a little collection system for the slime farm, which was in last, uh, well, my last video. So. Um, little changes like I've changed this layout. I am going to be removing this because I realised that it doesn't need to be tested until further up. Uh, uh like the overflow system realised that the cart would actually get stuck with the block and I had to switch it around like this, which was quite funny. Uh, but I think I've done that like many times when I'm building this, caused that to happen. And then, so we've got. Just a little bit of covering here, a little bit of extended thing. We've got hoppers coming out to just here. Like this will be like a little good um, inwards and outwards, uh, and there'll be like a probably like a door system over there that will uh, drop goods in. Uh, we're gonna have our first station. It's not connected yet because obviously I haven't put into departure, but we know what our first station would be, which is to the uh, payphone space, which is just beyond <laughs> for that way, <laughs> beyond like the giant like cutout mountain. Yeah, uh, so let's get on building this thing. Okay guys, so as you can see what I've done here, and this is the directional choices, so what happens is each of the buttons up there now correspond to one of these curves along here, and I'll show you that in a minute, and then you drop down and then this will lead down onto the other one. Uh, so then these will then all, eventually, what these will, when I build it, will drop down onto these rails that will go, extend out of the station. So if I just come up here and I just come around, so you see at the moment it's switched on that one, which is actually the final one, so we'll always be in like the position to go down because otherwise you'll go into like a wall. Um, if we just flick it to this one and come back around, so as you can see now it's changed because you can see this torch is on here. And it should be this one. Yeah, this one now drops you down. So it's all about direction. Right, so I'm gonna be built and so I'm gonna what I'm the, now gonna be building is the system that actually will lead out, so the tunnels that would lead out. And then the rail that will come back round up here and move on to the roof and the and then I'll move on to the uh roof and the arrival system. So see you guys in a minute.
Oh, hey guys, so as you can see, I've got in the well return system up to the arrival. <laughs> uh, this, I, I I didn't really build this, but on camera, you, you, you probably just saw like there were several problems with it, so I ended up having to really, really try and manage to actually sort it to go correctly, which I was quite happy about because it was like, I was like thinking, damn it, am I going to have to put in a double arrival system? But luckily, I didn't. So, yeah, this comes out here and. Now I'm going to get on to building the roof and the arrival system. See you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so this is one of the bulks of the arrival system and it's a uh, like buffering cell. So basically it allows multiple arrivals. So, and I just realized I've left this in the non-triggered version. So I'm gonna have to manually reset these quickly. Oh, damn it. Uh, basically, if you break the carts before the thing, it does muck up the system. So there can be many ways this system does debug a bit, but it it does if used correctly, it serves its purpose quite well. Uh, so if just come back up here around. Yeah, that one's not changed. No, yeah, that one. Those two haven't changed actually. There we go. There we go. Right, so what it does is it mimics that if you've got multiple arrivals. So I just do this with normal carts. Um, so cart goes along, triggers this system, and it changes that system so that the next person who comes along gets goes into that cell. Next person, 
that one, next person, that one, next person, this one. That That's the station in full capacity, so then what would happen if anyone else came along, they'd go into the emergency exit system, which is down here, which well, which you have built down there. So then, what happens is, is if I go down here, and I just quickly go along and I just trigger the cart to go, like so, apparently it doesn't want to go, oh there's another cart in here, huh? apparently this system has decided to break so I've got to go look, check that out, hold on, be right back, okay so it just turns out that one of the repeaters I think weren't working properly so it didn't, like wasn't the right tick, so if I do this now, cart goes and what should happen is hopefully um, or apparently not damn it let's just go check this uh, there's supposed to be another car coming down seems like I've got all manner of problems right now aren't I um, a car that goes down in that system triggers should trigger off this entirely long chain of redstone which it <coughs> should have done let's just maybe I need to put a repeater somewhere that's generally what happens signal strength not being large enough all right let's come down here all right let's just break this one that might have just triggered everything but like, yeah, let me just try to check if actually anything's just come back into arrivals now. No, I'm really confused why that's not working. Because um, what's supposed to happen is the tra signal is supposed to travel up, cause a state change, and then these cards are supposed to all go along. Apparently, doesn't is not is willing to do that. Um, Wait, I haven't got anything connected up to that. That's that's a problem. Uh, let me just look at. No, it's just this, which would need another thing coming off of it. So I actually need to move it back. Uh, to be, right. Let's do this. Actually, I think that just needs a repeater. It doesn't need a tick delay. All right. This redstone. Then off this for tick delay. This is what needs tick delay. Then it comes along. Pop. Sorry, I just burst into a coffin fit. Ah, uh, yeah. So then this is supposed to go along like so. And it's supposed to have the system here where like the other systems quickly uh, as you see I like ran out of stone brick during this so it wasn't very good so like oh crap have I just triggered something damn if I have <laughs> there we go as you see I've got a bit of a mishmash of blocks and that needs I think that needs blocking off yeah right let's just check these I haven't gone on Oh, damn it. I hate when this happens. Right. Let's just look. Right. The system is incorrect here. And it's incorrect here. Just push this along. I'm just going to have to. Wait, okay, that's now correct, correct, correct. Right, what's supposed to happen now is if I just trigger this one off down here, move this one in the system, then what's supposed to happen is when that one falls, it's supposed to go into the system and trigger a reaction that causes all the other carts to move. There you go, I hear a lot of piston activation, which is a good sound ah, yes yes it seems to be working now let's just go check let's just go check it's actually done what it's supposed to do like you can have like a little bit of trouble with this if you're not careful uh, it might be better systems out there but 
Oh, what? Why haven't these ones moved? There's supposed to be delays of these, what? Ugh. Right, let's put... Ah, that's why. I haven't put repeaters off of here. Repeater, repeater. That one doesn't actually need to trigger anything. So let's just, let's just trigger this off again. Let's just, well, no, let's just do what it's supposed to do. Let's just push this one out. I'm just supposed to cause that one to... Okay, apparently that didn't want to work properly. Oh, man, I thought it was working. Um... Let's just try this one more time. That seems like it's in the correct positions. So let's try this one more time. Let's drop down here. Jump up. Cause the system to go through. Cart comes in. And let's just check all the other carts have gone round into their correct positions. It might be that I need to put down some normal rail instead of no okay the system seems to be working let's just test it let's just make sure this happens for the next few so let's just there we go and one more ah one more Okay, right, now the system should be up and running now, so let's just check this. Should be a thingy. Yep, alright. Okay, I'm now going to go build the rest of the arrival system, see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've got the rest of the system in. Um, so, uh, for instance, right, so like, I've got it that what happens is, theoretically what happens is, is that if a cart comes along, just a normal cart, it will go off and then go back round and go like off down that line and down that chute back into the cart loading system. If a cart, if a chest with items in, comes along so there shouldn't be a reason why a chest without items thing comes along because that might cause problems uh, but it will come along and it should figure out it go onto this system unload its items and come around get destroyed by this cacti and go down into you can't see it but there's a little chest down there back down there and the items will actually go further off down there but I will probably be building that off camera um, then a person should go off this way down that 
then drop into the system, the other system down there, the buffering system, and then eventually we'll drop down into that chute there. So let's actually test it. So if I just drop down a cart, oh, there we go, a bit of lag. <laughs> See, down that track. Now, if I get the a chest cart, put an item in it, let's just put a piece of dark oak wood, give it a shove, hopefully it works, as I've had a bit of problem. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I have had a bit of problem with this quite a bit actually so I'm going to have to test that but let's just see if this one works no apparently it's lagging because I should have gone the opposite direction oh ow there we go right oh right Let's just get all these. Oh, I've gained a piece of oak wood. That's not good. Oh, I've been dumping stuff in there. Right. Hmm. That should have worked. So I reckon the reason why the other one didn't work is because of lag. There can be quite. There are some lag issues when this comes to this. But it might be that I've got the system the wrong way around so I need to check that see if I need to put a redstone torch in and invert the signal um let's just go up this is irritating because it's like the only way to really get up to this area right now is this uh which is the correct way of doing actually right oh okay apparently it's not working at all hold on did I forget oh right I change the system slightly and then that's that's why it's not working let's just read this that's why this one isn't working but i'm not sure why the other one isn't working all right let's just break this again oh apparently there we go right there we go yeah that's why the system wasn't working but the chest system i've been having a bit of trouble with so i, I will solve that but that is actually going to be it for today's episode. As you can see, this is beginning to be a bit of a mammoth building project of ridiculousness. Uh, but next episode, um, we'll be moving on to probably, because literally the mechanical stuff is done. Like, there's a few little things, like, obviously sorting out this system. And then, um, uh, sorting out just a few little other things to clear off. But then we move off on to aesthetics. So, I will see you guys next time.